third Greninja. So it looks like we're going to have Venia, um, the best Greninja in New York, one of the best in the world, I'd argue, um, on stream against Epo, um, the Cloud main that we saw earlier. So I don't know too much about this matchup offhand, but what I do know is that Gren Of course you do, you used to main Greninja. Yep. So one of Greninja's biggest strengths is his overall mobility. Greninja has the speed on the ground and in the air to just weave in and out of the opponent's attack range and just bait and punish out um, people's oh. options. And due to that mobility, I feel like Greninja might have a pretty good time of getting around uh, Cloud's big aerials. So let's see what um, looks like a button shot game one. So anyway, uh, like I was saying, uh, one of Greninja's biggest strengths is his overall mobility, some of the best in the game, lets him weave in and out of the opponent's attack range, bait and punish them, especially with a dash attack that is pretty quick. Um, I believe it low profiles a little bit, um, has some low lag, and it can lead into um, some pretty big follow-ups. And Greninja, when it comes to Greninja, Venia is one of the best out there. So this is probably going to be a very impressive showing from him. But Ippo, as we've seen before, is definitely not to be underestimated. So let's see where we're going game one. In we go indeed. We got the clouds. We got the frogs. What more could you ask for? Venia not using a shield. Okay. So it looks like we're starting off with a pretty even game. Uh, Venia is using that ability that I mentioned before to try and uh, weave in and out. But he just started to get um, a little bit of extra damage on Epo. He's just going to run with this advantage stage. Uh, down throw? Um, Venia likes to do that a lot. Down throw into forward air. It's a pretty good tool. Oh! Epo tries to go um, for a down air to catch Venia's recovery. But using Hydro Pump's uh, maneuverability, he's able to get around it. Oh. Great attempt on a tech roll read, but just barely off. Oh, I see what Venia was going for there. He was hoping that people would drop shield, but he didn't. But he's able to land that just little back air hit into down smash. Takes the first stock of the set. And it looks like he's running away with this. Yep, already got 67% on Epo's second stock. Looks like wow, this is look like really looking like Smash 4 right now. Especially Ooh. when he barely survives that limit cross slash. Check, check. Check, one, two, check, one, two. starting to go up a little bit, though. Any straight hit from Epo is going to be able to take that stock. But, oh, just barely off. But it's going to be really hard to catch him. Ooh. That back air is going to take it. And Venia is able to take that second stock very easy. Catches Epo's recovery with the back air. Um, Epo's pretty solid at mixing up Cloud's recovery, but his options are still pretty limited. Just because Cloud's up B doesn't go very far and isn't very good at snapping the ledge. And it looks like Venia has a huge lead here. How's Epo going to make this back? Venny's at 181%, still around, gets the counter, and now Epo's off stage. But he's able to make an intelligent usage of his air dodge so that he's able to survive um, a little longer without using his limit. What? Is this going to be a three stock? It's looking like a three stock to me. Come on, Epo. At least take one. I mean, like especially putting in all that work, putting him at 180. I mean, it's. You gotta do something about that. No! Oh. What was that? I think it was Hydro Pump. When did he get a Hydro Pump out? I'm not sure. Well, something happened there and pushed Epo off stage so that he wasn't able to grab the ledge. And that's gonna end game one. Like I mentioned before. That was insane! The problem that Epo was having was that because of how fast Greninja is and because of how good uh, Venia is at using that movement, um, 
Epo just simply wasn't able to land a finishing blow, even though he was able to deal plenty of damage. And we're going to go into game two. Once again, Greninja versus Cloud. And we're going to be going to Battlefields. Um, I'm going to guess that um, Ipa wants the smaller stage size, that he can um, limit how um, how much uh, Venia can move around the stage and Absolutely. Being, um, be able to get in a little bit more easily. Being able to... And up it seems like it's working out a little bit because he's starting off with a pretty solid lead, but Venia is just as quickly going to be able to make that back. Oh, goes for a platform tech chase, but Ipo was intelligent and rolled in the opposite direction. Oh, Venia goes for the jab lock, but Ipo, his tech timing is on point, and he's able to get out of the situation. Goes for the cross slash mix up, base out the shield grab, is able to get him back in the ledge, in the ledge switch. But Venia is going to, Venia is going to get the. Down up smash. This time, he's going to be able to take Epo's first stock. Oh, double back air. Double back air, Shadow Sneak off stage. Venny's on fire right now. Oh. Epo's really looking like he's struggling uh, with Venny right now. It's going to be really tough to make this back. And Venny is one of those players um, who apparently gets hit by uh, Cloud Forward Smash. But still, this is going to be a big hill to climb. Especially when Venny is the caliber of player that he is. But he has the limit on deck. He might be able to uh, take this, um, get a little bit of percent with that uh, limit blaping. But he's off stage against Greninja. That's going to be tough. And. Oh, the Hydro Pump Edge Guard. But Epo is just barely able to cling on to life on his last legs. He's not going to let the set end just yet. Tries to go for the downer two frame, but it looks like he's a little shaken. And Venia reads the back air against the counter to win the set. 